Cindy. Today I'm going to show you how to create a sunflower card using the June 2020 paper pumpkin kit. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you first the sheet that came in the paper pumpkin kit. Now I'm going to use this image here, which is the sun, as well as the leaf image here for this card. Okay, for the card base, we're going to be using this bright white and gold card base. And then also in the paper pumpkin kit, you have this sticker sheet. So I'm gonna peel off this large black and white polka dot sticker. And this is going to get positioned right in the center of the card. So I'm gonna place this carefully because it, it does have adhesive on it so that it lines up right along the edge of the card and it goes all the way across to the other side so that there's three gold stripes at the bottom and three gold stripes at the top. Okay, and once you have it on there evenly, you can press it down. Okay, so that base is completed. The next thing that we're gonna use is a half inch by four inch piece of garden green cardstock like this. All right, and then I'm going to take my little leaf here that came from the kit, and I'm going to put a um, mini glue dot right on the front of it like that. And then I'm going to position this, to uh, line it up with the bottom of the card like so, and then I'm going to take that leaf with the glue dot on it. I'm going to slide it so I can see where I want it to go. And I want it to go about right there. So I'll slide it under and stick it on there like so. Okay, so that's where I want that to go. So I can flip this around. I'm gonna add my liquid glue to the back. And then I'll flip this around and I'll stick this right down onto the front of the card. Okay, so now we have the sun. So the sun is actually going to be this make uh, the bright flower here at the top. So I'm gonna take and add my adhesive to the back and then we'll add our sunflower. So we have that on there like so. All right, now for the sentiment, I'm going to use a pad here to stamp with and then I'll grab one of the tags. So this is a piercing mat. So this is always good whenever you're using photopolymer stamps to have a cushion to stamp on. And then I'm gonna start with one of the images that comes in the paper pumpkin kit, which is this word here that says sunshine. So I'm going to stamp that right at the bottom of the tag. And then I'm gonna take a separate stamp here that also comes in the kit, and I'm going to stamp the word hello right above it like that. Okay, so now our stamping is done. So let me flip this around. I'm gonna grab a couple of dimensionals and place dimensionals on the back. We'll peel these off the back. And then I'm going to place this right next to where the leaves are and just put it right there to the center of the card like that, off to the right a little bit, okay? Now um, the kit came with these really gorgeous embellishments. So I'm gonna take this sequence here and I'm going to dot the eye of the word sunshine with it. And then I'm going to take a large one here and I'm gonna put that right there next to the S and then I'll take a small one here and I'll put that right next to that large sequence. So we have our sequence on there. So the card could be done just like this and it looks really pretty, but I wanted to do something fun with it. And so I absolutely love this cute fruit um, stamp set and I love the little happy faces. And then I also love in the stamp set that, um, goes with the paper pumpkin kit, there is also this really nice sun stamp. So I'm gonna stamp this here. And I don't know, immediately I thought of how adorable this would look with the little smiley face from the cute fruit right in the center like that. And then of course, I'll take one of our Stampin' Blends marker. This is the dark petal pink and I'll just add some rosy cheeks. And then using my paper snips, I fussy cut around the edges so that it looks like this. I add a couple of dimensionals to the back, and then you have the option, if you'd like, you can add that to the front of the card. So here's two different options. One, just the plain sunflower, and one with this really happy sun um, image that comes from the paper pumpkin kit. So that is my second alternate project that I've created for you. And I am gonna next show you how I took this image here and created a really fun box. So be sure to check back for my alternate video number three. Until then, aloha.